I wanted to do a quick video on how to assemble the timing belt tilt gimbal. Uh, first, I'm going to just name the various components you might need to know the name of. Uh, the camera mount or universal mount. Uh, it houses the FPV camera and the action camera mounts to it. The base houses the servo and also the hinge or the bearings for the hinge, for the main hinge. Uh, I'm missing a part. Uh, the axle goes through and through the main hinge. We have a GoPro nut that goes, uh, the nut goes inside one side and the bolt goes through the other. And we have our axle. We have our strut that supports the belt tension. And then we have our servo side gear. And here we have the hardware and belt. The way that this gimbal works is there is a belt that is basically acting as a linkage between the servo and the camera mount. And there's a good bit of tension on that belt and that makes a really stiff connection. And to support that belt tension, there is a strut. And that strut is sort of suspended by these small bearings that are, uh, yeah, that these screws hold on to. Or I may not be explaining this perfectly, but essentially the, the strut is floating there, supporting the tension, and is supported by bearings so that it doesn't cause any additional drag on the hinge. The bearings that support that strut, or that the strut rides on, are mounted via these screws into the axle. And the way that these screws are set up is there are these tiny, uh, tiny washers, uh, which the kit comes with two extra just in case you, you lose a couple. And, uh, and basically it goes two tiny washers, the strut bearing, two more tiny washers, and then a standard size M3 washer to cap it off. And we're going to make two of these and one is going to go into the axle and the other is going to go uh, into the servo once we've mounted the servo gear. Then we have a the smallest screw is going to cap off the other side of the gimbal which is this side right here. Once sort of the busy work is done uh, the first thing I do is I insert the main bearings into the base and then I also go ahead and insert the bolts that will mount the base to the drone itself. Essentially the idea is the bases are unique for each frame and then the rest of the gimbal is universal. Now we will take and once our main bearings are in the base as well as our mounting bolts um, we will insert the servo and depending on the frame uh, you okay, let me take this out real quick depending on the frame uh, and the location of the mounting holes uh, some of which are far enough apart to where you will never need to take out the servo but some of which uh, these rear bolts won't be accessible once the servo is in and so you have two options there one you can disassemble the, sir, uh, the gimbal to this stage um, it's not hard it doesn't take very long and you can mount it in the same way you would a normal GoPro mount or you can leave the gimbal assembled like you received it and you can essentially take off your top plate stick your top plate onto this and then take off your front four standoffs and while your top plate's on there put your standoffs on and so essentially it'll be gimbal top plate front four standoffs and then you can just put that onto your drone and then put the screws into the bottom of the standoffs and put the screws on the top and then if you ever need to take off your top plate all you have to do is is take off your bottom bottom four front screws and then your your back screws on the top of the top plate and then it just comes off so once basically once you understand how to uh, operate with the gimbal 
um, it's no harder to take off your top plate than normal. You're just taking off your bottom four screws in the front and your top four or two, or depending on the frame in the rear. Hope that makes sense. Uh, I'm no Bardwell, uh, but I just I try and do my best for tutorial videos. The next thing we'll do is we'll take our axle and we'll insert it in to the side that doesn't have the pulley on it. And we will get it just far enough that it's just poking out. Just poking out. And what we're going to do is we're going to bend this to the side slightly as we put it over the main bearing. And then we'll feel that little, that little bit sticking out engage into that bearing. And once that's done, um, basically just take it on its side and try and hold it aligned with the, uh, with the bearings and just press down. And I use the edge of the table typically uh, just so, so I can actually reach the thing. Hopefully this is in frame. Press down until we are roughly flush. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just roughly flush with the, with the camera mount pulley. At this stage, uh, if it's not already in there, which if you get the gimbal from me, it will be, I typically insert the GoPro nut into this side. Just use a pair of pliers, push it in, bang. Insert on this side, make sure it threads in. It's aligned nicely. And also just uh, just a tip, uh, when there is not an action camera in here, I tend to only just barely tighten. I don't crank down on it. Uh, just helps the longevity of the, of the parts. And um, next, I typically will actually put on the end cap for one side of the axle. And I don't tighten this down too much, uh, just, just snug. There, good. And then I take our servo plug, and these servos are unique in that they have a plug built into them uh, instead of just having wires coming out that you can't remove. Uh, and so you have to have the plug out when you're inserting or removing the servo. And use a pair of tweezers to do that uh, if you need to. Um, the gimbal comes with the plug already installed, uh, but if you need to remove it, just use, use tweezers. Don't, uh, don't just pull on the wires because it can damage the wires. Plug just goes in just like that. And now we are ready to, uh, start to mount or set up the, the belt. And that is pretty much the last stage of this. Uh, this yeah, the assembly on this is, is really quite quick. Um, you know, with me explaining it, it kind of adds some time. But in the field, I can do this in, in just like a minute or two. Okay. Now we're back. I got my little, my little setup for starting these. And uh, if you power up the gimbal and nothing's happening at first, and it's making a little ticking sound, all you need to do is take your servo and go all the way up and down through the range of motion and it should come to life. And to put the belt on, this is how I typically do it. There's, there's many ways you can do it, but this is just my preferred way. And I'll try and show this, uh, cause it's like, it takes a little bit of finesse, uh, but you can just, essentially what I, what I do is I use the mechanics of, uh, of the, the way the strut is mounted to sort of aid and make putting the belt on easier, but you can do this however you like. Uh, it's just once, essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the strut uh, in sort of this uh, tilted arrangement, which means that it's not uh, sort of forcing these apart at the, with the full distance that it normally does. And what that'll do is it'll let, uh, it'll let the, camera mount sort of flex towards this as I'm putting the belt on it makes it way easier to put the belt on although you can just go ahead and fully mount the strut on and then creep it on with the same method uh, but this is just what I do uh, having built a bunch of these at this point so while this is while the screw is started but the 
strut is off to the side uh, on the camera mount side we are going to put the belt around the servo gear fully around the servo gear and then while we are in the bottom most position like while this is spun clockwise as much as it'll go we're going to take this and I show this elsewhere in my tutorials, um, but I'll try and show it again here uh, just because it's a little bit of a technique uh, to learn. And so I'll just try and help you help you learn it here. And so while we're in the bottom most position we want the gimbal to be, which is around here, we're going to hold the belt to the bottom of the teeth there while this is all the way around the servo gear. And then we're going to slowly go up with the gimbal while holding that same position. And what's going to happen is the belt is going to wrap around the camera mount pulley uh, as we are increasing that. And there we go. You can see we are now around the camera mount pulley. And then we can just take our fingers and press on the belt. And you don't want to press it too far down here, uh, just enough to where it is even on both sides. Uh, this is a good moment to sort of align the pulleys. And that looks pretty good. And now once we're at this stage, we will uh, just take... It's nice to have two wrenches, uh, or two two mil wrenches here. Uh, on one side, I'm going to hold so that the uh, axle doesn't slip inside of the uh, hinge. And then I'm just going to tighten this down. And you'll see as I do that, it's going to bring that strut parallel with the belt. And as that's happening, it's increasing tension. And once this is fully on, the belt will be nice and tensioned, uh, just enough so that it is as stiff as possible while allowing the belt still to skip in a hard crash, which will save the servo. And uh, if it, that does happen, all you need to do is put the gimbal in the middle position. And while it's in that middle position, you can just, just with your hand, force it back to center position. Uh, it's very simple. I, I think I show it somewhere else in my tutorials. Uh, I digress. And once that is on there, and all the way front, it's looking good. Press that in. And we want to make sure that the strut is parallel with the belt, and it is. And that is looking pretty good. And that's it.